Hello everyone, this is Money Mom. Welcome to the channel. Today I want to share with you guys all about my new frugal hobby. Let's get started and talk about it. My new hobby is learning how to live a longer and healthier life. I'm going to be doing research on it and applying it to my life and sharing it with you. They say the average woman in the United States lives to 80.5 years. I want to live to be over age 100 and I want to be the oldest YouTuber and I want to also be an encouragement to everyone no matter what age I am. So how can we do these things? Now, only the good Lord knows when we will die and go to heaven, but I can do things in the meantime to help extend my life if it's God's will. So the first thing, which brings me to God, is a spiritual life. People that have a spiritual life, whether it's going to church, synagogue, reading your Bible, which that is something that I want to be doing more in my life, live an average of four to four and a half years longer than the average person because you have less stress, you have a sense of community, and you tend to be happier. So that's number one. Number two, working on my memory. My husband bought me this book that I haven't even read yet called The Memory Makeover. It has excellent reviews. I want to learn how to improve my memory. You know, people tend to think, oh, because you're older, your memory declines. Well, I can tell you, I have a friend of mine that's in her mid-70s, and she can remember things from 25 years ago. She has a phenomenal memory. She remembers everything I tell her. So that's not always necessarily true. I know a lot of folks that have excellent memories. My dad, for um, as a matter of fact, is 84 and has a good memory. So learn ways to improve my memory. Number three, do whatever you can to reduce stress. If you have a lot of stress in your life, that can take anywhere from two to five years off your life. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm all about ha being a happier, more content person. As a matter of fact, one thing I did to reduce stress is there were some side hustles I had that I'm no longer doing because I felt a lot of pressure. So reducing stress and managing it in a healthy way. Number four, physical activity. And if you are not able to get up and walk around, you can do things from your chair. Anything physical is good, whether it's dancing, five minutes, gardening, housework. You know, people think, oh, you have to work out at a gym. All sorts of physical activity is really healthy for you. My mother was always in really good shape. She didn't go exercise and work at a gym and take walks, but she was not a sedentary person. She was constantly moving. So any kind of physical activity, because we do tend to be more sedentary now and have desk jobs. So getting up and moving basically. Okay. Number five, this is key. And it's one of the most important positive self-talk reprogramming our brain from old ways of thinking. I know I need it. How many of us say, oh, I can never remember names. I can't learn new things. I'm terrible at technology. Um, you know, I'm older and everyone in my family is overweight, so I'm going to be too. You know, I'm never, I'm always going to be in a little bit of debt. You know, I really can't make any more money than I am now. We say, and we believe these things. And, you know, it, because of that, this is how our life is. So this book that I've read before, but I read the old version and I'm reading this again, what to say when you talk to yourself. It's about positive self-talk. Now in the book, he says, hey, you can't just do positive self-talk. There's action that goes with it. But reprogramming our brain for more positive and self-talk can really help your life. So I'll be doing that as well. Number six, having a healthy relationship with food. Many people demonize food and say, this food's healthy, this food's not healthy. I can tell you from my experience, all the people that I know that have never been overweight, they don't have things like, oh, I can't do this, I can't do that. They don't have a do or don't list. They eat what they want in smaller portions. They have a healthy relationship with food. They eat when they're hungry and they're not thinking about food all the time. So I think that there's many thoughts that I've been thinking that I want to reprogram so that I have a healthy relationship with food. Okay. Now on to the next one. Number seven, last but not least, how can I be an encouragement? How can I help others? You know, many times people may have problems in their life that are serious problems. They have some stress and things going on. If we will take time to not think about what's going on in our life and help others, helping others, I think is one of the best things we can do to live a happier, longer life. Now, these are just a few things I'm touching on and less than 
than five minutes. I want to know from you guys, have any of you been researching this? I'm really anxious to do more research and reading on this and applying these things to my life. I know that the one huge thing I really want to work on is reprogramming my brain to teach myself new things, thoughts that are better serving for me that will help me live a longer, healthier life. Let me know what you guys think. That's all I have to say for now. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.